Stan Jabalisco here with uh, another app of a Zener diode. This time a threshold detector. A threshold detector. Now you may wonder what is the difference between a threshold detector and a voltage limiter. Well for one thing the resistor and the Zener diode have switched places. So instead now of having the Zener diode connected in parallel and the resistor in series to limit the current, we have the Zener diode connected in series and the resistor is there to ensure that, a, that the Zener diode sees a load even if the load is disconnected because if the Zener diode doesn't see any load at all it will not operate properly necessarily as a Zener diode. So what we have here then is uh, what can commonly be called a voltage DC voltage threshold detector. Electrons remember flow with the arrow in reverse bias situations and in a Zener diode that would be from right to left along this positive line. <coughs> Electrons enter the positive power supply terminal and leave the negative power supply terminal. So they come out of here, they flow through whatever load we have, even this resistor, and then back this way. So that will only happen though if the voltage at this input exceeds the Zener voltage right here. So let's suppose then that we have a, oh just for the sake of argument, a 7.2 volt Zener diode here. We have a power supply or some variable source of DC voltage. Let's just say rather than input variable DC voltage. So what happens then is that unless that voltage exceeds, reaches or exceeds 7.2 volts, we'll see nothing at the output. If the voltage reaches 7.2 volts, we'll see 7.2 volts at the output. And if the voltage exceeds 7.2 volts, then we will see whatever that voltage at the input is minus 7.2 volts. This creates a 7.2 voltage drop. So, for example, if we have 17.2 volts here, we'll get 17.2 minus 7.2 or 10 volts here. Uh, so it, what it does is some people will call that a voltage shifter or a voltage reducer. I call it a threshold detector because below the threshold, in this case 7.2 volts, we will get no output here. Now you can think of maybe some uses for a circuit like this. Uh, you might have, for example, a a solar panel that produces variable voltage depending on how bright the light gets. If that light gets bright enough to produce a voltage of 7.2 volts or more, maybe that will send some voltage, some current out here to the output, which can then be used to trigger some sort of a device, which will then operate only when the ambient light level is above a certain brilliance. That's just one possible application for this type of a thing. Certainly any threshold detector like this with solar panels of any reasonable size would respond to a stellar explosion of this magnitude, which is near one of my other favorite spots in the deep reaches of outer space. I just love to watch stars being born. The violence and the brilliance of the event is something that you just never get over. And I never get over hobby electronics or ham radio either. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long. <laughs>